bute 1-ene and bute 2-ene have the same molecular formula, but a different structural formula. This means that these are examples of isomers. Remember, an isomer has the same molecular formula, meaning the same number of carbon and hydrogen atoms, but a different structural formula, meaning that the atoms are arranged differently. So let's have a go at drawing isomers of alkenes. The first alkene that we have to name is a, a straight chained alkene. So we have to find the longest carbon chain, including the carbon to carbon double bonds. We number the top carbons and then we number the bottom carbons. We can see that there's no branches. All the carbons are found in one long chain. And what we want to do now is we want to identify the lowest position that the carbon to carbon double bond can be found on, which is position one. So the name of this alkene is pent one in. Now, the easiest way to draw your first isomer of an alkene is to change the position of the carbon to carbon double bond within the chain. So here, what we can see is the position of the double bond has changed. I still have five carbons in my longest chain. I'm going to number the top line and number the bottom line. The lowest position that the carbon to carbon double bond can be on is position two. So the name of this alkene is known as pent two in. So once you've moved the position of the carbon to carbon double bond along the longest chain, what you want to do is you want to take one of your straight chained alkenes and cut a carbon and add a branch onto a middle carbon. The longest carbon chain that I have going through my carbon to carbon double bond is four. So I'm going to number them on the top line and the bottom line. And I'm going to put a box around the branch which is not found in the longest carbon chain. If I want to name my longest carbon chain, I need to look at the lowest position that the carbon to carbon double bond can be in. So the name of the alkene this time would be but1-ene. However, I've got a branch and I have to state the position of that branch. So the name of this alkene would be 2-methylbut1-ene. We are now going to move that branch along to the other middle carbon. And we're going to repeat the exact same process. The longest carbon chain that we have is four. The lowest position that the carbon to carbon double bond can be in is position one. So it would be known as but one in. However, our branch has been moved and that can be found on position three. So the name of this alkene is three methyl but one in. There's no more middle carbons for us to move the branch along. So we now have to take our second straight chained alkene to create a new isomer. And we cut a carbon and add a branch. We can only add on to the middle carbons. The longest carbon chain would still be four. The lowest position that my carbon to carbon double bond could be on is position two. The name of that straight chain alkene would be known as but 2 in. However, the branch is also found on position 2, so the full name would be known as 2 methyl but 2 in. So, the rules to think about um, when you're wanting to draw isomers firstly, change the position of the functional group within the chain. Secondly, cut a carbon, add a branch, then move the branch along. The third thing that you would want to focus on is looking at other families which have the same general formula. The alkenes have the general formula CnH2n and so do the cycloalkanes. So we could also draw cyclopentane. This past paper question is from the National 5 2019 Multiple Choice 14. The systematic name for, and they're giving you a short and structural formula, is. So because they've given us a short and structural, we have to change that into the full structural. So we have a CH3, CH2, C, and then we've got a branch, which is a CH3, CH, and a CH3. 
we look for our longest carbon chain, including the carbon to carbon double bond, which is five. We need to look at the lowest position that that carbon to carbon double bond can be on, which is position two. So the answer to this is multiple choice answer C, three methyl pent two in. This past paper questions from the National 5 2016 multiple choice 11. The systematic name for the structure shown is. So the first thing that we have to do is look for the longest carbon chain, including the carbon to carbon double bond. If we number these one to five and one to five backwards, and we put a box around the carbon to carbon double bond, the lowest position that that carbon to carbon double bond can be on is position one which means the end of the name would be pent one in. If we look at the positions of the branches, the positions of the branches would be on position two and three. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer B, two, three, dimethyl pent one in. This past paper questions from the National 5 2016 multiple choice 12. Two isomers of butene are, which of the following structures represents the third isomer of butene. So an isomer has the same molecular formula but a different structural formula. The molecular formula for butene is C4H8. If we go down A, B, C and D and write the molecular formula we can see that C and D do not have the same number of carbons and hydrogens so cannot be an isomer. If we look at A, that is the exact same as the first structure given for butene, except it's been flipped around 180 degrees. And that means that the correct answer is multiple choice answer B. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2015, written 12A. The structural formula for two hydrocarbons are shown. Name hydrocarbon A. Well, what we need to do is look for the longest chain, including the functional group, the carbon to carbon double bonds. We number those one to four on the top line and one to four backwards on the bottom line. We put a box around the carbon to carbon double bond. What's the lowest position that can be put on? That's position two. So the name of this is but two in. Part B to this question asks us to state what is meant by the term isomer. An isomer has the same molecular formula, but a different structural formula. 